go further right here. Here. Um, part A. Yes, part A. All right. So, uh, we have ten mini figures that we're going to go through. Um, <sighs> hopefully be. Alright, so we have, I think this is supposed to be Oliver Wood. Because uh, you see that thing. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I do like the uh, torso printing. Um, as well as the um, hair piece. Uh, they decided to use um, the cape in red. Um, broom we get in that color. Um, not new, but it's harder to find. For $10. Now we have Harry Potter, he's a seeker. Why isn't he wearing his helmet on the box? Because if the helmet is accessory, shouldn't he be wearing it? For $10, same torso as the other person, two of him, and then just put the Harry Potter thing on him. Yeah. Um. Next is Ron Weasley Hagrid's hat set. This is our third minifigure, um, and he says in the Hagrid hut set, um, he's worth seven dollars, um, don't get how this guy is worth seven dollars, this is Hagrid, fifteen dollars, um, now I do have a picture of him with his beard on, this is it with him, with his beard on, um, I actually, I uh, don't really care for this Hagrid. I prefer the newer Hagrid over him. And why is he holding a wand? Hagrid doesn't have a wand. Um, this is our fifth minifigure, and there are three other characters in this set. Hermione is next, worth $15, and also from this set. Um, same torso printing that we got with Ron. Uh, different uh, facial printing and hair piece. Um, so, I think that's why she's that expensive. Uh, next, we have Mrs. Weasley. Uh, for 22 bucks. Um, this is our sixth minifigure. Uh, because I have two pictures of Hagrid. Uh, so, for 22 bucks, I really do like that apron printing that continues down on the legs. I really think that's cool. Uh, we got the old Hermione hairpiece for Mrs. Weasley. Um, and we got, the, uh, the wand in brown. Uh, this, this set actually looks pretty interesting. So, our seventh minifigure is... I think it's supposed to be Arthur Weasley. Uh, I, yeah, it's supposed to be Arthur. I don't really care too much for this minifigure. Oh. Uh, sorry. I'm shut you on. Um, but. Um. I do like the uh, torso printing. Um, but, um, uh, gonna move on to our eighth minifigure, I believe. Yes, eighth minifigure, eighth minifigure is Ginny Weasley, also worth $22. Um, we have the, that hair piece right there, um, and exclusive torso printing, um, that is exclusive to this character, and exclusive leg printing as well. Um, the, the, the sweater printing, um, Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, comes in the same set. Uh, yep. So, worth 22 bucks. I don't care if she's worth 22 bucks. No. Uh, but, we're going to move on to our ninth character, I believe. Yes, the ninth character, Bellatrix Lestrange. Um... We have a new hair piece for her that we get with a Nixon Knights reboot. Um, worth 40 bucks. I would not pay 40 bucks for a minifigure. 
especially her. I, no, no, no. Uh, I do like the, uh, the, like, the way that they got all these stitches. Like, all of the stitches on the torso. Uh, I think that, like, all those lines don't get what they're there for, but I don't really understand it. I don't understand a lot of Lego's decisions, especially this looks nothing like the set that it's supposed to be. Um, but our tenth and final minifigure is Finier Greyback or something. I believe that's his name. Um, from the same set. Oh, hi, hi. Um. I don't really like this minifigure. I do like that we get the slicked uh, hairpiece in a brown, uh, which we have gotten before, but again, it's not as common in brown as it is in black and blonde. I have like 20 of it in blonde. Um, but uh, not really too interesting. I wish that... Uh, Maybe we got the f the shirt coming all the way up here. I think it would have been better that way. Just in my opinion, it would have been more useful if the undershirt had gone all the way up to the collar, just revealing a bit of skin there. But he's a supposed to be a werewolf. Uh, also, why didn't they do what they did with the original Lupin? Like, I think that, that they should have done that. That would have been a lot cooler. Um, with a wolf head, um, uh, maybe molding on the wolf head. So that is ten minifigures gone. There's a lot more to go, so stay tuned. Um, and yeah.